much, my voice press fans. It's your kitty and possibly so thank you guys for doing this cool bit about me video. It's so awesome of you guys to be here. This bit about me video is a part of the weekly series that I'm doing, a uh, mini series where basically I'm talking to you guys about art tips and um, definitions. And basically, I'm, today's videos in specific are surrounded around abstract art and why you, why you should do it was tip of the day video, um, how you should do it, and what are the benefits are in the question of the day video. And then in this one, I'm going to be discussing how I use it. So first off is abstract art is taking realistic situations or pieces or images or whatever it is and turning it into or making them into unrealistic pieces or images or images and you know that that could mean like you know changing the way someone looks changing the colors changing you know the style that you know it could be it's a lot it's a whole ton of things and you know the see the thing is is a lot of people out there you're going to say you know that something is abstract art right and let me tell you now as the artist artist community is both understanding as to what abstract art is but also they don't quite you know they have certain definitions and qualifications as to what's abstract art and to be quite honest with me I you know I from what I believe and what I understand to be abstract art it is basically if I'm taking like myself or some realistic uh you know like or like um animal or person or thing or whatever and I'm changing the colors or manipulating how it looks or anything like that I consider that to be an abstract art form now what I've done with abstract art form is that I've done you know numerous different things I've changed my profile pictures to numerous different art styles I've changed myself you know the way that I look in my profile pictures on Facebook YouTube Twitter and all these different things numerous amounts of times um, I've also done, you know, numerous amounts of backgrounds to both my YouTube and to my Facebook and Twitter accounts, you know, sh depicting me in different shapes and forms. Like my most recent one that I had fun with was making, um, making me so I look, I was looking off to the side and behind me, it was kind of like a galaxy slash kind of moon thing. And it was really, really cool for the, for the longest time. And I really still really love that picture because that was really awesome to make. But, um, you know, I've decided personally, just so you guys are well aware, I've decided to put the hashtag PE as my profile picture for most of my social medias, just because I'm not only trying to brand myself, but also I think it looks a little bit more professional. Not that my profile picture doesn't, but I think that just kind of gives it a little bit of an extra boost to attract people um but you know i've done this you know like i said for my profile pictures i've done this for regular pixel art pieces like my random pixel art pieces my regular series is you know you can all ch you can check all of them out on my channel there's just tons of art on my channel check it out because i'm guaranteeing you you'll find some awesome stuff there you know and i've had a lot of fun because abstract art you know it's it it you take the realistic and you make it unrealistic but what i think of unrealistic i think of possibility what can i do you know of the thoughts that i have and project them into a realistic piece like how can i change that to what i want to see like one of the things i think is awesome is you know if we had blue skin i think that would be really really cool i don't know why people could call me crazy but that's a that's a thing though is i've done myself where i've had blue skin before you know in a profile picture and it was fun so you know and i no one could tell me i was wrong because it's abstract art and it's my art and <laughs> yeah it's basically out there and if you like it great if you don't well I can't do anything about it but um but yeah you know I have an awesome time making abstract works I have an awesome time taking suggestions so if you guys got any suggestions as to things I should do in my pixel art videos or in the future um I'm open to them uh you might you can comment or follow the social media links in the description below but otherwise that's pretty much it for today's videos on abstract art um if you like the video or like the videos like favorite and share them subscribe if you're not subscribed it's more great content coming out I just don't want you to miss it otherwise remember the perseverance is your key the impossible I will see you guys in tomorrow's uh daily uploads this week's series reminding you that it is part of art definitions and tips so tomorrow's going to be some more great stuff in relation to artists tips and definitions so thank you guys i will see you guys later